Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monster Truck Throwdown here at Chesterfield, Missouri. We're going to get things started off with Brett Butters in Master of Disaster. We're going to have an eight-truck lineup here for freestyle competition here at Chesterfield. We're going to have to see what Brett Butters can do in this monster truck. He's relatively new to the scene. Going to start his time right there. Two minutes on the clock for Master of Disaster. Going off the racing lane and getting some pretty good air there. Going to turn around just before the bus. It looks like he's eyeballing the backside of that racing lane. Straight up and down. He's going to get a nice skyway there. Now he's going to the backside of the roller. Each of the racing rollers that you will see will have a car at the end of them to give them a little bit more of a pop here in freestyle. We're going to have to see how that affects these drivers coming out here. It looks like he's going for the middle freestyle lane. Going for the back side of the freestyle obstacle. Not quite going to make it over that jump. Smashing the cradle of the truck into that car. Now he's stuck on top of it. He's going to break loose. Back that thing up and it looks like he's going to try and attack it again. This time, that's exactly what he wanted the first time. He's going to get over that obstacle. That will hinder his momentum a little bit, but however, he is still going in this freestyle with a minute left on the clock. Eyeball on the backside of the racing lane. Creeping up to it in a nice sky wheelie once again for Master Disaster. Going to ride out a slap wheelie this time. Now he's going to the backside of the roller. Lots of sky wheelies so far for Master of Disaster. Keeping the momentum up for the most part. Now he's going to go down the racing lane, getting a little clipped up there on that ambulance stack. Nice air off of the racing lane there for Master Disaster. Brett Butter's doing pretty good out here. He could pick up the momentum. He hasn't touched that bus deck, and he has not touched that ambulance. And now he's going to sling that thing into some donuts with 15 seconds left on the clock. Front side of that freestyle obstacle and getting some pretty nice air. Got a little sideways up there. Going to go around the roller. Doesn't have much time left, but he is lined up with that next ramp, so this last hit will count. Brett Butters in Master of Disaster coming out here, putting on a pretty good freestyle. As I said before, though, he did leave a couple obstacles open for other competitors to hit here tonight in freestyle, so we're going to have to see how that affects him in the score. Our next competitor coming out here for freestyle competition will be Nick Pagliarulo in the Kraken Monster Truck. He's looking to go big in freestyle, maybe top master of disaster. We're going to have to see what he does as he lines up on the back side of the racing lane. Going to get some pretty nice air off of that. A little bit of a slap wheel, he's going to ride it out and go around the roller there. Turning around, looks like he's heading for the racing lane over the roller on the front side of the roller and now going to the racing lane some nice air right there and it looks like he's going to be the first one to go for that bus stack right there going off of the back side turning that truck around at the front of the track and it looks like he's not going to go for that bus again he's going to go around it and try to go for the freestyle lane some nice air there for Kraken he's going to combo that truck up Comboing it up three times there, kind of get a little tripped up on the back side of that roller. Now it looks like he's going to go for the ambulance hit right here. And some nice air off of that jump. Oh, but he landed on the roller and got a pretty bad rebound there. The truck seems to be holding up. As he's going to go off of the racing lane and keep this truck going, this freestyle going. Got about 50 seconds left on his time. He's got a pretty good run so far. He's got more momentum than Master Disaster, I'd say. He's going to get a sky wheelie off the back side of the racing lane. Going for the freestyle obstacle. And going around that backflip ramp right there, integrated with the ambulance. Going to have to see who's going to be the first one to hit that out here tonight. As he's going down the racing lane again with 30 seconds left on time. 
Some really good air off of that racing lane. As he's turning that truck around, it looks like he's eyeballing that bus. Yes, he's going off the front side of the bus here. Let's see what he can do. Straight up and down, and he's going to roll it over. Can he save it? No. Nick Pagliarulo in Kraken going to roll that truck over. That is not how he wanted to finish off his freestyle here in Chesterfield tonight. But he put on a pretty good run. We're going to take a look at a replay of his crash here a little bit closer up. So he comes up to the front side of the bus. It looks like it just kicked him the wrong way, straight up and down. He didn't even get over into the bus, and he just got flipped over by that car right there. I think if he would have gotten onto the throttle a little bit earlier and a little bit harder, he would have been able to get up on top of that bus. But instead, he just went straight up and down onto the car and over on his lid. With that being said, leave a score for Nick Pagliarulo in the Kraken Monster Truck.
Next up for freestyle competition will be Eric Swanson in the obsessed monster truck coming out here showing that truck off to the fans and about to start the two minute timer for his freestyle. Running those BKT tires. And he's about to turn that truck around and start things off here tonight. Looks like he's going to go down into the center of the track in these freestyle obstacles. He's going to start off right there. Now he's going to go to the back side of the freestyle obstacle. Most people have been trying to get Sky Wheelies off of that jump tonight as he goes to the back side of the bus. Some pretty decent air right there. He's going to turn that truck around. It looks like he's going to attack the bus one more time, but this time off the front side. Some nice air over the bus. He really wanted a slap wheelie right there, but he's not going to get it. I'm going to have to try for it again as he goes down the middle freestyle obstacle lane. I'm getting a little bit of a combo. A three hit combo for Eric Swanson. He knows what he has to do. To take the lead here in freestyle, let's see if he can do it. Some nice air off the roller. Now coming up on the front side of the racing lane. He's going to get some decent air there. Winding down on time, he's got about a minute in and a minute left. As he goes to the front side of that bus again, this time it looks like he's set up for a slap wheelie. He's going to ride it out very nicely. Combo that truck up off of that freestyle lane. And he's creeping up to what looks like to be the backflip ramp. Here he goes. A perfect landing for Eric Swanson and obsessed off of that backflip. That backflip integrated with the ambulance. That was a beautiful jump right there. As he's turning around, he's going to hit the ambulance from the front side. Hard landing right there, but Eric Swanson's going to keep this thing going. About 30 seconds left in his time. Now is when he starts turning this freestyle up a little bit. Off the back side of the bus in some better air than last time. And he's turning that truck around. We're going to see what else he has left in the bag. It looks like he's going to sling it into some donuts. Getting close to the wall, and he's going to stop it there. Just in time. It looks like he's going to try and hit one more jump. Eric Swanson's... No, he's done. He's going to stance it up on top of those cars right there and call it a night. Let's take a look back at this backflip attempt right here. He landed it perfectly. Right there, hitting the rear end really hard on the ground. The housing holding up, the shocks holding up. And that was a beautiful backflip for Eric Swanson in Obsessed. As he's getting ready to drive this truck off the track here, Eric Swanson in Obsessed having a great run. What do you guys think of that?
Mikey Vodders Jr. coming out here for the first time in a long time. We haven't seen him in forever, what it seems like. As he's coming out, starting his freestyle on his first hit. We're going to have to see what he has for us. As it looks like he's lining up, I think he wants to pull off some two-wheel skills here. Going to possibly put this thing up into a stoppy. There it is. Bringing it into the moonwalk. And he's going to ride it up over the ramp. But well, it looks like those open front differentials going to keep him from riding that thing out. He was kind of tossing it from one wheel over to the other. As he's going to the back side of that roller and getting some pretty nice air off of that. Coming around, it looks like he's already going to go to the ambulance and get some nice air off of that as well. Off of the freestyle obstacle, now he's heading to the back side of the other one. Some nice air off of that jump, a little bit of a side slap, hard landing on the left side of that truck. Looks like he got a little bit caught up there. Yes, he has got a deflated tire on the left side, that left rear going down on him. We're going to have to see how that affects him. It looks like it's not affecting him so far too much. going to twist him, a little bit of a pivot in the middle of that wheelie there. He had to put it down sooner than he wanted to. Another hard side slap on the right side as he's going up to the back side of the racing lane. Now he's going for that roller. That, that tire is going to keep him down. Now he has to turn on it right here. That is something you don't want to do in your freestyles, but Mikey's making some quick work of it. Landing hard on that roller right there on the right side. Going off the racing lane and getting a little bit of a pivot mid-air. That thing has given him a little bit of a challenge, but he is working with it and putting that thing into some donuts as we speak. Some nice air off of that bus deck right there. Crushing it down pretty good. Going to the back side of the racing lane. Off of the freestyle obstacle. Looks like he's going for the backflip with a deflated tire. Mike Vodders is going to ride out a wheelie after the backflip as well. Going to put that thing in reverse. His time is almost up. If he can line up with this ramp before time elapses, which he does, this is going to be the last jump before... We turn in those scorecards for the night on Mike Rodgers Jr.'s run. Getting a really nice run in so far. He's going. He's still going. He's not done. I think something tells me that he's not very happy with the equipment out here tonight. Getting that deflated tire off of the bus. And he's going to stop that thing right there. Mike Rodgers Jr. coming out here, putting on a great run. As it looks like he's not quite done yet still. He's going to put it up on top of the bus, and that is going to be it. Let's take a look back at this backflip attempt that he had here. He rode out a wheelie afterwards, which is absolutely insane. That's something you'd see Paul Venard do in Black Pearl as he sets it down right there. A beautiful move from Mike Butters Jr. And this is throwing it back to the beginning of the run, how he started things off with that moonwalk. He was able to get it on top of that ramp right there and set it down, and that's when he carried on throughout his freestyle. Now Mike Vodders Jr. is going to carry that truck into the back and get some work done on it for the next show. None other than Mr. Excitement himself, Jim Kohler and Avenger coming out here onto the track. Looks like he's going to sling that thing into some donuts to start things off here right in the middle of the track. This time just started going right there for Jim Kohler. That truck looking pretty good out here tonight as he's getting things started, putting those jumps in now. Looks like he's already lining up for that ambulance hit. Some nice air off of that. And a really hard landing on the roller, though. The truck shut off. I don't know if that was an RII or if the truck just shut off. He's going to try and get it started back up. There it goes. He has started back up. He's going to slow down his momentum a little bit. That is something Jim Kohler does not like to do. So he's going to try and get this freestyle going again. Off the backside of the bus. Some pretty nice air right there for Jim Kohler. The back side of that bus is starting to look more like a ramp. These guys out here are going to get more and more air off of it as the night goes on. 
Some nice air off the front side, as we say that. A pretty hard landing for Jim Kohler. He's going to put that thing into the ground if he has to to try and impress these fans. He wants to get a freestyle win out here tonight. And so far, he's doing a pretty good job. He's got about a minute left in his freestyle. He's going to go back for that ambulance once again. He's going to one-two it off of the jump. Just some pretty nice air right there. He's lined up for the racing lane. Now he's going for the back side of that bus. And some more nice air off of it. Gonna turn that truck around. Going a little crooked off that bus hit right there and another flat landing off of that jump. 30 seconds left for Jim Kohler and Avengers. He's getting some massive air off the back side of that racing lane. Now he's just attacking that little backside of the roller right there, hitting that car really hard. As he's going for the ambulance, getting a little bit of a nosedive right there. Jim Kohler's time is almost up. He's going to the backside of the freestyle obstacle. Hard slap on the left side. He's getting some sidewalls in. Can he save it? Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we call him Mr. Excitement. He rolls that truck over, but in style. He got about three or four revolutions in on those sidewall attempts, but he couldn't quite land it here tonight. We're about to take a look at some replays on that amazing move he just tried to pull off there. He was so close and couldn't quite get it. Here's one of the replays we're going to take a look at. He gets a really nice grab on that left front tire. Slings that thing around, a little bit of a pirouette on the nose and puts it down on the roof. Here's another angle. Just can't believe that truck actually grabbed some traction right there and pulled it into that like spin cycle. A great showing for Avenger as they just got that truck back up onto all four wheels. He's about to pull that truck off of the track. What do you think about that, ladies and gentlemen? Jim Kohler in Avenger. Ladies and gentlemen, your last competitor for freestyle of the night, Darren Schnell in Bigfoot. As he's going to start things off on the backside of the racing lane. Now he's going to the backside of the roller. That car getting more and more crushed down as the night goes on. Now he's going to the other racing lane. Going to go up the front side of the roller. And now he's going to the racing lane itself in some pretty nice air for Bigfoot there. Looks like he's going to go around the bus, something I don't know if he's going to be able to afford. He has to hit everything that he possibly can out here to take the lead in freestyle. And it looks like he just popped a tire as well. A few trucks out here have been having trouble with that so far. He's got that left rear tire down. Going to go for a little bit of a cross thread maneuver on that freestyle jump. Something not too many people have done out here. The judges will like that. As he's coming up to the front side of the ambulance, getting crooked in midair and a hard side slap right there. And then really hard on the left side of that truck. Looks like it's still holding together. He still has a little bit of air pressure in that back left tire. Up to the front side of the bus stack. He's trying to get that wheelie up, but that flat tire is going to keep him down. Got about 40 seconds left in his time. What else can Bigfoot do out here to impress the fans, to impress the judges? Darren Schnell's got to think of something and think of something fast. Trying to get as much air as he could right there. I think that tire is really starting to affect how he's running out here as he's just going to sling that thing in some donuts right here in the middle of the track. Going to go for the back side of the freestyle obstacle. Not getting as much air as I think he wanted to get there. He's going to the back side of the bus. Some pretty nice air, but it looks like he just popped another tire. Both tires on the left side are popped. As he's going to sling that thing into some donuts. He doesn't know what else to do at this point. Darren Schnell. 
stopping that truck as time has elapsed. I don't know if that's going to be enough to take the lead, but it will be up to you. However, do not leave your seats. We still have one more truck to go, and it's just an encore all for you fans. <laughs> 